I've had three daughters hit by cars in separate incidents over the past few years. And uh, the first time my, was my eldest daughter, Mary Frances, who was hit there. And she was wearing a bright pink raincoat and carrying a colorful umbrella. And she was still hit by somebody making a left-hand turn off of Park Home onto Beecroft. Um, it's almost three years and she still uh, she has chronic pain, walks with a cane. What amazingly happened after that was that three weeks later, my youngest daughter, Felicity, was hit at the same corner by a car making a right-hand turn from Park Home onto Beecroft. And that was a borderline hit and run because the woman who hit her continued driving and then stopped farther on like in front of um, Douglas Snow Aquatic Center and then came back and Felicity was on the road crying and injured and her shoes and her cell phone they'd all gone flying and the woman felt her over and checked her and said are you okay and Felicity said yes I'm okay and then the woman said I have a daughter who goes to the same school as you and then got in her car and drove off just leaving there crying there and, uh, and there was a witness who took the plate number and the witness helped her over to the side of the road, but then she had to walk home by herself and then my husband took her to the hospital. But then in December, another daughter was walking down there and again was hit by a car making the same left-hand turn. And, uh, you know, all three times I was called at work and the first time you're scared but you're, you're hoping that, you're, that your child is okay. And the second time you're wondering, what is going on here? What? I can't believe this. But the third time, it's embarrassing. It's as if it's your kids and it's your own fault and they don't know how to cross a road. But in all cases, they were walking with a green light. That man walking sign was showing. And uh, they were not wearing headphones. They were not using their cell phone at the time. They were doing everything right and they're still hit. And I've been to the Ministry of Transportation. We talked to a lady named Ann Kahn, my husband and I. So I suggested that they lower the speed limit to 40 instead of 50 because in other streets similar like Empress and Cummer, they um, have speed limits of 40 in, in many places and she wouldn't do that. And I said, okay, speed bumps, no. I said, okay, how about a, a stop sign at Blenheim, the next street west of here because then people won't use it as a a, a quick fix to get up to Senlac and, and barrel up the street and she won't do that either. That was after two daughters were hit and so now when the third one was hit my husband spoke to the new director there, his name is Kip, and Kip suggested a few things he could try um, painting the lines where pedestrians cross at the brighter yellow and they have kind of a, a pattern uh, so make it, to make it more obvious and there's a delay they can put in where the pedestrians have a few seconds to start walking across the street before the traffic gets its light to go. I don't know if they'll do them or not, but I would like them to because I don't want somebody killed.